I'm Mary Condoing the shit out of my Barbies. Coming up after this. Okay, so if you don't know who Mary Kondo is, she is a, I don't know, an author about finding what sparks joy and minimizing your life to make it easier and more pleasant to live in. So a personal organizer, a uh, professional organizer, and I've been working really hard actually about minimizing my life and cleaning up my space and making the bedroom at least a room that is, for the most part, toy free. I have allowed myself to have two feature walls that I choose as art, and uh, actually um, one, another one has snuck in recently, but uh, I've been really good about cleaning out the things, or I've been working at cleaning out the things, but I just recently, here's how it started. I had new Barbies coming in, and I didn't have boxes to put them in. Like, I like to keep them in these totes, and I have all matching ones uh, that all nest nest together, and I think that is uh, one of my main um, organizing techniques is when you do keep things in boxes, make sure your boxes are all the same so that they can stack perfectly and you can align them well. This whole, this is my diorama setup. Can you, oh yeah, right there. I uh, have to Mary Kondo that too, because that is way too much diorama stuff. And then I have just started a diorama wood wall, and I think I am going to focus on making furniture on this channel in the future, and I will put the my, my best pieces and most useful items that I really like and choose things, intentionally choose things that I want and use all the time. So I have these this box of dolls. I guess I'm going to turn this around so you can look at it this way. So instead of buying new boxes, which is what I normally do when I get new collections and things to add, I decided I it's I don't I don't use all of these. And I have over the years really chosen and refined the ones that I like. So I'm going to get rid of them. And what I think that is, is I'm going to get rid of a lot of fashionistas. Now, luckily, I have saved the bodies. I don't know where I put them. There's a, there's a large section of just bodies around here somewhere. Oh, yeah, here, here it is. And I think I'm going to put the fashionistas. And I pretty much think it's going to be most of the fashionistas. Because if you do follow my channel or follow me on Instagram, you will know that... I use the hard-headed ones, and I have really come to love also the Budget Beach ones, where I rebody them on WWE bodies. That's what I like. I will keep some made to move, so like I'll keep my Barbie looks and my Barbie style dolls, which are you know more expensive, higher-end versions of Barbie, so they are the most fun. And I don't know, I don't know how to show you or talk about. Here's some Cave Club Monster High mashups. I have them in here. I have most of my Ken stuff still in the other room because that I'm going to tackle another time, but some of it does mix over. So there are some Kens in here that I do have to sort, like ones that came in sections. Do I keep Barbie Dream House together? Do I keep, I don't even know what this one is. It's a mix of careers and special ones. And there's the whole vintage problem. What am I going to do there? Um, superhero dolls and Barbies. I love Cave Club. And, yeah. So, I don't know. We, we can come and look at some of the collection here if you want. The uh, Gem and the Holograms customs. I think that project is over, even though I kind of finished it, but then I didn't finish it. Some of my favorite pieces of clothing are being taken up by these dolls, which I don't, you know, ever really visit because there are so many other things that I want to do. Come on, there's a, a LBD. 
that I love a black leather skirt. Look at this. All the black. I'm really into the black and white stuff right now. So I guess I have to. What great 80s clothes in there. I think that project has to end. Maybe I'll do it with some hard headed ones. But most of those are fashionistas that I don't really need or I don't I don't have time to photograph or make videos with or redress. But what I have discovered is that I really do love the WWE bodies. Here's the open ones that I haven't rebodied yet, so this is what the original ones are. I don't like their faces, though. I, don't, I was never a big fan of the faces. Maybe it's the makeup. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's their harsh features. But love the bodies. Don't like the faces, but look how many heads I have from the WWE bodies, which I think after this is all over, I'm going to have a lot of WWE bodies. And the heads that I do want to keep that might be fashionistas, it's going to be really hard to decide which ones I want to keep. Because oh, it's like, um, she is beautiful. When I take out each one and look at them individually, like, she's really special. I think this is a special box, but I don't know. Here's a regular Barbie, but she's even on a regular body. And then there's the, the fro girls. How many fro girls can I have, though? I mean, they all are beautiful, and I love their hair, so. However... The Barbie looks one, the fro is probably the best one. And um, she's more standard. I don't know, that's a pretty face too. It's so hard. I don't know what this box is. Um, it's like a miscellaneous, or I don't know what fashionista year this is. Oh, yeah. But maybe I can stop and appreciate what I, I love this one. See, some of them I might have to keep because they are so cool, and I always thought that she was so cool. But I don't have enough, oh, well, I guess this is a box of my favorite ones, because I love the ones with the pastel hair. Those two are two of my favorites, too. Not so much her, her for sure, her for sure. The fact that she has green hair, and she has a unique face, oh man, maybe this is going to be harder than I think it is. And her with the shaved head. And then these new ones, I haven't even, um, the newer ones, I haven't even rebodied or, hmm, I usually like strip them of their bodies and their clothes and then mix it into my clothing collection. Let me show you how that happens, what I do with that. So with the clothes, I do... People are always saying, why don't you put the skirts with the skirts and the shirts with the shirts? And I do do that, but every once in a while, I will find, like, a theme, and I will pull out, like, I have pulled out all of the black and white ones, and I put that all in one box, and I did the same with the black and white accessories, because it is, uh, they are the clothing I like to use the most. Purses are together, jumpsuits are together, shorts and skirts, and uh, there's a lot of dresses, and I should probably, like, I don't use half of them, so I should put them back on the fashionistas, and then the, fas the fashionistas that I uh, don't like, or I do like a piece, I'll just replace it with a piece that I don't like, and then I think I'm going to sell them on eBay, and I know that some of the fashionistas are very coveted. So, yeah, and here are, here is a box of favorite accessories and heads, so I can easily do head swaps for my hard-headed ones. So this is an example of the heads that I prefer to use. I love those. And then these are my favorite bags and WWE boots and shoes. WWE dolls have larger feet. So... I do have a selection of my favorite shoes in here, but I also have two bins of boots and stuff from WWE, but yeah, well, I guess so these things are very useful and good. The boots are kind of cumbersome. There's one boot that uh, fits quite narrower. I think it's this one. Maybe that's not it, but that's a good boot too. This is a favorite boot, but fits on a regular variety. And then 
then, okay, and then some, some sets come together. Like, sometimes when I get, like, this favorite Chinese series, like, they were big sets with all kinds of clothes in them. I definitely hope you checked out those videos. I kept all of those clothes together because I love every single piece. It's special. So I kept the whole set together, but I mean, the shoes, some of them I don't like, so I, I can... That was a new opening, a more recent opening, so I don't need to... And then, things for Slate, Cave Club stuff. So, I love, I love Slate, and I do tend to sometimes pull out things that I like just for him, and I did do that with the clothing, oh yeah. I think that's what this is. This is all clothing that would fit on Cave Club. So I have pulled all of that separately and have that ready. But I don't think I'm going to do it like that anymore. I'm going to put things back the way it is. And what I am going to do is I'm really going to be very, very particular and choosy about what I am going to keep make sure that I just keep the clothing that I'm actually going to wear and dress up the fashionistas that I don't want in the clothing that I'll never use. And that is how it will be done. I can't believe I just messed up the slight bit of organization I had there. More pieces of wood that I'm going to make furniture with. I am going to make the next piece of furniture I want to make is one of those. I want to make another one of those and I'll show you how I do it out of, out of the boxes that I have. That's important. And then these pieces I just made actually. So um, I, all I did was just glue a couple crates together and put some feet on them. But Again, I like simplicity, and that's the furniture I am most happy with. Here's the recording area, which also needs to be cleaned up. I still haven't done a Mega Constructs furniture video. And these are the first... This is a box of stuff that I have to put away that I don't know where it goes, but these are the first ones. There's no purpose for these, so that's what the head nub looks like the neck nub on the color reveal. So I'm definitely going to get rid of those. Maybe I'll get rid of those today, actually. They are useless to me. And I need to get rid of something really, really quickly so that I don't have to keep the good things in a box. So I guess I can find things that, in, that are in a box that I know for sure I'm getting rid of. So then I can put Monster High, the new Monster High, in a box of its own and have that organized. Like, look right now. I'm using a plastic jar to keep the Monster High accessories in because I don't have another place to put them. Wheelchairs are something that... I don't need as many as I have. Maybe I'll keep the red one, because that's my favorite color. Is there a silver one? Or, yeah, I don't really like that color. I don't really like that color. Pink is way too come. I think red is the one that I would choose to have the most. And then I have two dolls that have broken legs, but I like to use them with <laughs> the wheelchairs, because they need them to get around, and why not? And those are really nice bodies, so I don't want to get rid of them. Um, these, I'm pretty sure I can get rid of mermaids. And then Monster High Creatable World mashups. Those are cute. Um, oh, more bodies here. I'm actually missing one of these bodies, and it's killing me, even though I'm not even keeping it. And I have no idea what I did with it. That's driving me crazy, and stuff like that's going to happen when you have so many dolls. What's this? This is a pile I think I made of Hasbro and Mattel mashups. I don't like to mash together toy companies. I've got it in my head that I shouldn't do it, but these ones, I have to keep these. Look at Mrs. Avalor here. She looks so good in this body. Their heads are harder. You really have to heat them up. I don't remember what her name is, but I love her. And I think they, they look great on their WWE bodies. So I am owing her too. 
she's so cool and I love her hair doesn't you know it's it is what it is and it doesn't get messy but that's cool and I like these so much and I don't like the, the bodies on these ones but I think that the dolls themselves are so cool that I think I'm going to rebody these on my favorite WWE bodies even if the skin tone doesn't match I'm just gonna put her on a articulated body and love it. I mean, that's another great dress that I have that's not getting used. Yeah, they don't have the best hair either. Maybe I should also look into rebooting hair and just make things perfect because they are so cool, but you know, minimal articulation isn't fun. I don't need made to move articulation. I love this articulation. I love this body. So now that I've been collecting for so long and I know exactly what I want, even though when I look through this stuff, I seem to be keeping a lot more than I think I am. More fashionistas. Ugh, so much stuff here. And then, oh, this is so weird to me, I have this love for, for just a regular playline, five points of articulation doll, but mm, yeah, it's hard to decide. When I put them on WWE bodies, I'm limited by some of the pants that they can put on. Usually they can wear all the skirts and everything. I love when they use vintage heads faces and recolor them in different ways. Sometimes the skin tones are a color that I don't have a body for, so that is also another reason to keep them on their original body. But people really do not like, some people really do not like the five points of articulation. So those are budgets that I just really love and I keep together in a box and these two very special fashionistas, but I'm also forgetting about some of these great outfits. Like, that is, like, a nice, simple pink suit. And then I love this chanel -y outfit. And the new Barbie and the Rocker. That was a whole other thing. She's cool. Oh, man. Which ones will I keep? Which ones will I get rid of? That is the question. She's an example of a skin tone that I didn't have, but she's such a cool Barbie in the rocker. Barbie with green hair. Sorry about the camera work. I'm trying to pay attention to what I'm doing. But that's my story. And I don't know. I'd love to hear your input on what you think I should do. That's the Barbie the Burby Farm series, Burby Animals, oh man, like, comment, share, and subscribe, we'll see you next time, and then, uh... I love Cave Club, but maybe I don't need to keep the animals, here's some Slim Kens, I keep them in a box here, and then it helps to keep them in the same type of box. Like, if I'm going to keep my slim Kens in this size box, then I should keep my whole Ken collection in that box. And then here's another example of a Cave Club Animals. Oh no, that's Cave Club Pets. But here is all of the accessories, all the different play lines, and all the different toys that I have. And I keep them in a box for Slate and his diorama pictures and stuff. But maybe I have to put that stuff back in the sets that they belong in. My Max Steel. Those are my Masters of the Universe action figures. Here's a huge box of monsters, Monsters, with or different or different brands that use the Monster High Boy body. And then sometimes I put the Monster High heads on the BTS bodies because they're the same body but have better articulation and they're just a slight bit thicker. My opened Cave Club collection, my closed Cave Club collection, 
my little people collection. My two major dioramas and way too much diorama stuff. And the diorama stuff that I really love right now. Castle Grayskull. Castle Grayskull. Slate.